What is up, guys? NYKF31 here, bringing you 4th and 1 Online Franchise Season 2. This is the divisional playoff round last week. You saw the um, wild card game where I defeated the San Diego Chargers. Now we're up against the Miami Dolphins, 2 12 and 14. Did you see McFadden going into beast mode there? Wow. And my tight end, welcome to the playoffs, rookie. Paying the price. But um, here we are, two 12 and 4 teams. I'm on the road due to tiebreaker. So far, the scoreless game. It's a throw. Saw Tyvon Branch. Now I'm trying to get on the board. Darren McFadden again. I like Darren McFadden. Isn't he hasn't been as good in the NFL as I thought he would be. You know, coming out of college and college, he was just a beast. He was basically a one-man offense. They used to run him out of the Wildcat, and he threw the ball pretty good also out of the Wildcat. But, you know, he was just a one-man gang at Arkansas as I take the lead. And this was a bit of a wacky game. A lot of weird... When Madden goes mad, moments happen in this game, which is coming up as the game goes on. But right now, I'm doing pretty well. Moving the ball pretty nicely. D is playing nicely. Establishing McFadden and then going from there, play action pass. And without Darius Hayward Bay, he got hurt late in the season. And damn you, Kamish, and these kicking accuracy sliders. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. The game needs harder kicking, to be honest with you. It's too easy to kick on default, so that provides a good challenge. And on defense, as you can see here, I'm controlling the right defensive end. Why am I doing that? I've been doing that for a little bit now, as you'll see in both um, this and in OS Vets and in some NCAA games. You know, just to do something different, I guess. Shotgun. The throw to the left. Try the game from a different perspective. I mean, most people control a defensive lineman. They control either the defensive tackle or the left defensive end, which is the defensive end on your right. So I figure, why not give that neglected position some love as I tried to get that pass led a little bit further upfield, but I guess Carson just can't get it there. And my guy laid out for it, as you see me destroy Jake Long there at Shaughnessy, but the pass gets through anyway. Watch this play here. Tyvon Branch is a man to man and decides to leave his man and go to the flat for some reason. More on that later. But back to what I was saying. In the wild card game, Shaughnessy made a big impact there as I was usually controlling him in that game also. Going up against a backup left tackle, but this week he has a tougher matchup. Mario Manningham and Daenerys Moore stepping up big time so far. And McFadden puts the ball on the ground. Uh, that kills my momentum there. And a good throw by Tannehill. Wish Huff could hit harder. Tannehill has really become a viable quarterback in the league. As he's developing nicely in Season 2. Good run defense there by McLean. Never was really a Tannehill fan. Wasn't a fan of him in college. I still think he's a bit of um, fool's gold, but the Dolphins apparently like him, so I guess they know something more than I do, and this is just a bad throw. I should have gone outside with that sucker. Not a good decision. Not a good decision at all, so... Back on D. Turnovers and playoff games are not good. Not good at all. Watch my corner run away from the guy he is covering. Thank God the ball is overthrown. My coverage was just crazy all game along. Right there, you see how my corner just ran away from the receiver? It was so good in my previous playoff game, but in this game, it was just, it was just crazy. My guys would not cover, especially the tight end, and the tight end isn't even that good 
like 70 something route running and you know average speed so here I am back on O and Mario Manningham doing what he customarily did for me all season long which is drop passes but I go right back to him and that time he catches it but my coverage was just a mess no matter what I did no matter what I called it was just a nightmare all game long so now I'm sick of that guy going across the field so I use your Tommy Kelly and drop him into a hook zone and the fat man gets the INT Good job. Up second down. And then Houston and Seymour come crashing in. So I'm thinking, all right, I've gotten past the worst of it. D may be settling down now. We force a fumble here. I'm thinking to myself, all right, I'm starting to stem the tide here a little bit. And Darren McFadden on the uh, little swing screen. And I'm on top. So now I'm feeling a, lo a little bit better about things. But back to the ground he goes. He's got a good ground game. Ouch. And here we go again. He runs away from the guy right there and lets him catch the ball. I'm like, come on. What can I do? I have the right guy covering him, but they just won't respond. And then we have this. I haven't seen this in a long time. The old um, sack and on the fly INT and in the very next play McFadden gives the ball right back that is not a turn and then Tannehill just makes I can't I don't even know what that's supposed to be so the game just going mental for me it's going mental for him it's just one of those crazy Madden games first and ten they give it to the running back Showing good patience, sticking to the ground game. I don't want to blitz the barn or anything. I just want to make him go the long field like I usually do. But I need my guys to do what they do. That time I got caught with a linebacker on him and man coverage. Can't get mad about that. But when I have the right guy on him and he just runs away from the dude and lets him catch the ball, that irritates me. I'm able to force a field goal here. And ten. But I'm down now. Looking across the middle, wide open for the and my pass. big time rookie tight end. He is a boss. And this is a rage throw. Don't throw the ball when you're annoyed. Take a deep breath. Count to ten. Otherwise, you run the risk of making a mistake like that. And I'm, to, and I'm going to undo all the good work I did. I don't know how that's not a touchdown. And because he wasn't a touchdown, I have to burn a timeout. <laughs> and then he gets in the next play. And then on the ensuing kickoff, Jacoby Ford's going to take it back. I mean, what can you say? Just cue the carnival music. The circus has come to town. And it's only fitting I'm about to run out of footage soon because somehow the um, PVR stopped recording. So there's not going to be much left. As McLean runs away from the tight end again. I mean, what can I do? And this is the last play that the game records. Kicks the field goal, and it goes in, and I'm going to go on and lose this sucker. So the Raiders get knocked out in the divisional round. Hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you all later. Peace.